Hello everyone! What I have here in my hands is the first Hall Effect Joy-Cons in the world. And I say in the world because I don't think anyone else has managed to get this working. And yeah, I got them working pretty well with my Joy-Cons. But before you get too happy, you must know that it is not worth right now. First, these Hall Effect sticks are expensive to get. The only way to get them is to buy an Embernic device and remove the Hall Effect sticks. To be more specific, the RG353M or the RG505. I got an RG505 to make a review on the channel recently, and since I did a teardown, I decided to install them on my original Joy-Cons. These Hall Effect sticks are soldered to an adapter board that will convert the connection from the Joy-Con to the RG505. So, in order to get them on my Joy-Cons, I had to desolder them from the board. And here's the result. I would love to open the sticks and check out the internal components, but since these sticks aren't so easy to get, I won't do it this time, as attempting to open these tabs can break them, and this might get the stick to stop functioning. And I had to do something about these metal tabs sticking out from the shell. So I opened my Joy-Cons, and hello there cardboard piece, removed the old sticks, and as you can see, they are identical. Same shape, same screw holes, same connector length, it's like they were made for the Joy-Cons. I bent the metal tabs to make sure that they would fit in the shell, and install them. And here's the final result. Besides the color, they feel exactly like an original stick. So I put them on my switch and turned it on, and this is what you get initially. The stick is off-centered. And no matter what I did, I couldn't calibrate it. It's like the forward input couldn't be recognized by the switch. Turns out that since the stick is off-centered, it won't start calibrating until the stick is in that position. If I moved a little bit to make the stick centered, you can see that the calibration starts, but since it's off-centered, when I release the stick, it goes back to the wrong position. I tried the hardest that I could to make the calibration start, with the stick close to the center, but it wouldn't work. Turns out that there is a simple way to do it. With a magnet, you can alter the magnetic field, making the calibration start with the stick really close to the center. You slowly approach the magnet until the calibration starts. Now it finally detected the forward motion. For the down input, we'll have to use the magnet again. And now for the circular motion. Since down don't go all the way to the correct point, we'll have to use the magnet once again to help us out. The green arrows should stay bright during the whole movement. Finally, we got the sticks calibrated. As you can see, they work perfectly reaching all of the points in the circle. And during gameplay, they behave just like original Joy-Cons. Pressing the sticks works correctly, and you can do all sorts of movements without any problems. And most importantly, these sticks won't drift. This could be the perfect solution, and it would be worth buying a 353P for this if you're a really hardcore gamer and like the original Joy-Cons.
But the problem is, if you turn off your switch, you will lose the calibration. I have no idea why this happens, but yeah, it is a huge letdown. It just makes no sense. The switch can remember the calibration for potentiometer sticks, but why not with the Hall Effect ones? My guess is that there is a chip inside the Hall Effect sticks that translates the readings of the Hall Effect sensors into potentiometer readings for the Joy-Cons, since the Joy-Cons aren't programmed to read Hall Effect sensors at all. So when you turn off your switch, this chip loses power and end up losing the calibration. Perhaps this is why we haven't seen Hall Effect sticks for the Joy-Cons yet. Colikit is probably working on a solution that doesn't require soldering or any additional steps to install these Hall Effect sticks. Meanwhile, we have to wait for it. And that's it, it was fun to test them out and report back to you. Except for the fact that once again the SL and SR cables broke when I opened the Joy-Cons to change the sticks. Seriously, these things are dog shit. It's like they are designed to break. No matter what you do and how careful you are, they will break. I guess that there is no joy in Joy-Cons, Nintendo. You should call them hate cons. Anyway, I'll have to buy replacement cable. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.